Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to my live streamed let's play on Twitch of E's Memories of Celsetta. So I thought on this video that I would do a couple of um, side quests. You can see here that I actually accepted two quests and I totally forgot about them and now I've got some horrible failed stamps. No! So anyway, I thought I would take on some of these side quests in Celray because, um, yeah, some of them look easy so I thought why not. Well, this lady has a quest. Leave it to me. So, it was a large outsider who poisoned the river. I had thought you were the only ones who managed to come this deep into the forest. But why would he want to do such a thing? It truly boggles the mind. Oh, do you want to know more about the Vesper Wars? Are you considering exterminating them for us? They appear to be a subspecies of a type of giant spider called a Vespernake. But what really makes this particular sp subspecies terrifying is its ability to reproduce rapidly and its tendency to move in large groups. And while the Jade Cave is far from here, there is no guarantee they won't approach the village in time. It's happened before, so we can't be too careful. I'd really appreciate it if someone would get rid of them for us. Dry skin needs moisture, so I'd like you to bring me 10 clear liquids. I'm always outside, so bring them to me there. Bonnie the frog lover. I think I know where she is. I'm pretty sure that I've got 10 as well, because if I go to items, it's down here somewhere. I did check earlier, and I have got more than 10. Yes, I've got 29 clear liquids. Oh, someone in the stream said, I heard on the Vita it can support PS1 games. Might be a rumour. It can support some PlayStation 1 games, but you have to buy them from the PSN store on the Vita itself. Right, where's Frog Girl? Bonnie, her name was, wasn't it? My turn. Leave it to me. Not you. Here we go. Oh, did you bring some clear liquid f liquid for me? Let's see. Yes, this should be plenty. Heh, thank you very much. It's not a lot, but please accept this as a token of my appreciation. That is quite a fair bit of money. Now, let's give him a bit of this stuff. Bonnie rubs the clear liquid all over the frog with her fingers. That just sounds uh, a little strange, I might say. Hey, look at him. He looks so happy. I'm just moisturising my frog. Frogs are already moisturised. They're already slimy. Right, what's the other quest that we can do? Um... Shopkeeper for the day. I'm currently looking for someone to run my shop while I'm away getting new stock. If interested, speak to Ray at the open air shop in the village square. So let's go do that. Armory. What's that? That's. I don't think that's it, is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's you two. Did you need something? Oh no, we came about your request on the board. Ah, for a temporary shopkeeper. Hmm, well, you've been cleared of suspicion. So, sure, why not? 
You're in you there, you interested in trying your hand at sales. Except Excellent. Okay, let me give you the rundown of what I'd like you to do. You two look like real merchants standing there together. Today, I want the two of you to be shop attendants. Basically, if a customer comes along, you sell them things. Simple, right? There's one thing I need to explain though, and that's how I process discounts. Discounts? It's the secret to making everyone happy, or the secret to staying in business, perhaps. Either way, discounts are extremely important. Being su a successful businessman isn't just about selling things at their standard price. You need to be able to adapt based on the situation. I'm going to explain what you can and can't discount, so pay attention and don't forget any of this. So pay attention, people on the stream! Sigh. <laughs> what? Sigh. Let's actually do a sigh. <sighs> This is sounding like it's going to be a pain. Haha, <laughs> now now, don't be like that. This is the authentic salesman experience. Welcome to my world. Here we go. You listening? First we have grains. Wheat, legumes, legumes, corn, these sorts of things. They're essential to most diets, but the harvest time for them has passed already, so we can't sell them at a discount right now. Don't discount grains, right. Next, fresh ingredients, specifically fruits and vegetables and such. As far as vegetables go, the harvest was remarkably average this year, so we can't really lower their prices. Most fruits and nuts, on the other hand, can still be harvested quite easily, so there's definitely some wiggle room on price. In particular, we've harvested a lot of Reparo fruits today, and if there are any left, they'll just go to waste, so try to sell these at a discount as much as possible. I'm going to forget all this because I have the worst memory in history. Uh, don't discount vegetables, sell Reparo fruits at a discount as much as possible. Next we have clothing fabrics. Oh god, three things are enough to remember, don't give me more! Silk and cotton and such. We'll be harvesting some more raw cotton quite soon and there's still a fair bit left over so try and get rid of that cheaply if you can. Sell cotton at discount, right? Finally, there's dishware, cups, plates, those kinds of daily essentials. We can't offer any discount on those at all so definitely keep that in mind. No sales on dishwares, got it. Phew! That was a lot to take in, yeah it is. I'm not going to remember any of that. Oh, and before I forget, sigh, there's more. I did it again, I just voiced the sigh. I should make the actual sound effect. Make sure to always greet customers with a cheery smile. While no one suspects you anymore, you're still not from this village, so people will feel a lot more at ease with, with you if you look confident and approachable. Hmm, yeah, that does make sense. That about wraps it up. Do you think you can remember all that? I can explain everything again if you'd like. No, I don't want it explained again. I probably won't remember it, but I'm not going through all that again. Excellent, thank you very much. All right, let's get to work. If I put my mind to it, I'm sure I can be one of the best businessmen around. Uh, well. I'm sorry to say this when you're all fired up, but yeah, think about thinking about it. One shopkeeper is all that's really needed. So what I'd really appreciate is someone big and strong to help me cart my supplies. What? Why me? I went to all that trouble memorizing all the items I could discount to. Sorry to disappoint. It's just lately my back has been aching terribly. Without your help, I... I would die on the road! Fine, fine. I'll do it. Sorry, Adol. Looks like I'll have to leave the shop to you. Hope you can manage on your own. Thanks, I'm really grateful for, your, for the help. We'll have to leave right away. So take good care of the shop while I'm gone, okay? Oh god! It begins! Oh 
Oh my, I wasn't expecting to find such a fine young man running the shop today. Ooh, hey, ooh, hey. While I'm working, love, no time for frisky business behind the sacks of grain. Though I think Ray would be upset if he heard me say that. <laughs> so I've actually come to look at different fabrics for my sewing. Is there anything cheap today that you would recommend? Uh, was it cotton, I think? Cotton, you say? How much is that today? Oh my, that is cheap. Well then, I think I'll take it. Oh, why not? Five bolts, if you please. Now that is a lot of cotton, but what a great deal. Thank you so much. Next customer. Shopping, shopping. Plate, plate, plate. Um, where are the plates? Oh, there they are. Hey, um, can you sell this plate any cheaper? Oh, I don't think I'm allowed to sell them discounted, am I? No. Stiffle, operation, get changed, un unsuccessful. But it's for shish, so I'll buy it anyway. Bye. Bye. Oh, go on then. Really? Yay, I'm sure happy. I'm sure happy, I'm sure cured. No more customers seem to be coming. Come on, come on! What a spirited young man you are. I have a hankering for a fruit or a nut, just one, whichever's cheapest. Uh, mm, it not, isn't it? Oh, those fruits. Well, that is lower price than usual. Very nice. I remember that fruit because it had a weird name. Keep up the good work now. La la la, shopping is so much fun. Okay, I need to stop looking and actually buy something. Excuse me, sir. Could I have, um, how about bread, flour, tomatoes, and Reparo fruit, please? Really? Are you sure? I heard from our rich that you gave her a little bonus earlier. I suppose I'll buy a little more than usual as my way of saying thanks. Thanks again. Thanks for that, Adol. How did everything go? Oh, you look like you've been having a great time hit there. I've been worked so hard, I thought I was going to collapse. <laughs> I really do appreciate your help, Duran. That would have been so much harder without you. Young people really do have so much more energy. Young people, how old are you? Heh, do you really want to know? Well, I'm not telling you. That information is secret. Can I punch him? Please let me punch him. At any rate, let me see how much you sold. Oh, please let me have done good. My memory sucks though. Yay! Wow, I hadn't expected you to do so well. Have you ever considered becoming a merchant? I think you're a natural. For your natural business sense, I give you this. Our recommended goods set, extra large. Oh, sweet. I got loads of goodies for doing this. All right, that's all I need from you two today. Thanks for everything, both of you. Right, what other quests can we do here? It appears that a swarm of Vesper Wars have begun nesting in the Jade Cave beyond the Forest of Dawn. 
Left alone, they're likely to begin multiplying and wander all the way to the river. The extermination will be greatly appreciated. Right, let's go take them out then, eh? Roll, roll, roll! They even get there from here, I don't know. We'll find out. Ah yeah, it loops back round. Ah! I'm not ready for that! Come on, let's take it down. Booyah! Hello, welcome to the stream. Yeah, skill finish, bitch. Well, I've gone the wrong way, but oh well, I took down that big beastie. That was fun. Everybody. Halt men, we have reached our destination, the river. <laughs> Finally. That misty peak was a nightmare. You sure we didn't need to write down which way we went? <laughs> Fools! Men with my intelligence have no need for notes. But we'll have to go through it again on the way back, won't we? My fame is a result of my hard work, effort and strength of mind. I will smash through any obstacle or challenge that stands in my way. Wahahaha! Listen up. Hey, where did you go? 
Where are you? Answer me! Come back here! Come back, I say! Hmm, you're that Adolf, Adolf fellow from the other day. You fiend getting ahead of me not once but twice. Consider this the last time, though. From now on, the glory will be all mine. Fine, Sancho Panza, get back here right this instant. We're returning to Kaznan. That's right, I want to finish this side quest first. Come over here, giant croc, and we'll have a little go. Right, run away. Oh, no. I think I've got um got too cocky there.
Thank you. Right, if we go over here and stand still. I don't know, it might not be safe enough for us to recover. No, it is. It's letting us recover. That's all right. Let's read some of the stream messages while we're recovering HP. Do I have to play the previous Ease games to understand the story? You don't have to play them. It just makes references to the earlier games. This is actually my first Ease game that I'm playing, so and I'm enjoying it and not struggling with the storyline. Uh, man, this game looks cute. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Do you think... GGK, do you think Chrono Trigger will ever come to the PS Vita? I don't know. Oh, they've all respawned! Three thousand gold. Let's stand still. to recover my health though maybe I have to wait for this paralyzed to wear off perhaps do you play the kingdom of Geary's never heard of it do you play the kingdom hearts series yeah I played a bit of the kingdom hearts series I want to get the Next Kingdom Hearts game on the Sony PlayStation 4. I enjoyed Birth, um, Birth by Sleep. That was awesome. killing them over and over until it says quest complete because I cleared the area and they came back Come <laughs> on. 
probably actually a good place to try and up this. I don't really know what we need to do here. Oh, go in the cave. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, I think that's it. We have to go in here in the cave. even realised there was a cave to the right. Totally missed that. Treasure chest. Let's 
scale male DX. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, you can't replenish health in caves, can you? You can only replenish your health in the field. Which I think is silly, because as long as you've cleared the monsters in the area, I don't see what the problem is. There we go. Right, these have respawned. Is this game out in the UK yet? No. It's out. Oh, I think it's out in February. Giant spider! Oh my god, there's more than one. Free? Right, before we do anything... Remind me of the spiders in the new Hobbit film, which I just watched yesterday, by the way, and it was totally awesome. I know, I'm behind watching it, but... Exterminated the swarm of Vesper Wars. So let's just check. So to cash this in, we need to head back to town. So I'm probably going to stop this episode here. And on the next episode, we'll head back to town. And then we're going to head back to... Kaznan after that I think probably yeah I think Kaznan um so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe you've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie and this has been my Ease Memories of Cell Setter live streamed let's play and I shall see you next time <laughs>